Hello everyone, welcome to CATCAM tutorial point. Here I am Himadri Dotto. I have designed so many designs in SOLIDWORKS, CATIA and ANSYS software. So please subscribe my channel and let's go to ANSYS. So today we are going to design or uh, and make the thermal analysis of the exhaust manifold. So let's start so at first you have to come to the ANSYS workbench here you have to at first double click on the transient thermal analysis then go for the geometry right click on there import geometry browse I have made uh, exhaust manifold drawing in SOLIDWORKS previously so I have import that also then go for the model double click on model so it takes some minutes for starting the mechanical workbench because this is a big software you can skip this part if it takes some minutes here we come to the mechanical workbench here this is the transient thermal analysis and my CAD model is already imported so at first here you have to generate mesh click on the mesh settings and click here for the generate mesh so this is automatically make the mesh of this model so it takes it takes some minutes please wait as much you have make good machine the ultimate result will be more specific and accurate so at first you have to know how to make generate mesh correctly I have uh, make uh, the different uh, meshing videos later so please subscribe my channel and give it one like so at first we have created this meshing here now you have to go for the analysis settings here in my uh, according to my problem I have to um, make different time dependent okay in this there are the four manifold or four pipes inlet and this is the uh, ex uh, exhaust this will be exhaust here this is the inlet so here I want to uh, give uh, hmm, I want to uh, make this uh, temperature in uh, differentiate this temperature in 8 seconds so I want to say that 1 and 2 seconds first 1 and 2 seconds there will be 100 degree temperature second 2 uh, th 3 and 4 seconds there will be 100 degree temperature and here after 4 and 5 second here and 5 and 6 second here okay so this is the tabular form so at first you have to uh, put it here 8 second as second then click here go to the tabular data on and here the initial time step is 0 0.1 and here minimum time step 0 0.1 and max maximum time step is also 0 0.1 this means that if I uh, run the um, uh, heat flow here for 8 seconds in 0 0.8 seconds there will be 80 sub portions will be generated okay now uh, this will be okay now go for the transient thermal right click insert temperature at first you select this and this face and apply here now go for the temperature downward tabular form here I have to 
give the time seconds duration first one two three okay first one and two second that will be 100 degree temperature 100 and uh, for zero second that will be 22 degree temperature and 3 degree 0 4 degree 0 is okay now go for again transient thermal analysis insert temperature there will be temperature 2 that is for the this phase click here apply go for tabular data for 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay here 0 22 0 second 1 second 22 3 second 22 but here 3 second is 100 and 4 second is 100 that's 5 and 8 to 8 second is yeah, then transient thermal analysis insert temperature select this face click here go for the tabular data here 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 ok here 0 second 22 1 second 22 2 second 22 3 second 22 4 second 22 for 5 second that will be 100 and 6 second that will be 100 last 0 and transient thermal analysis insert temperature also for these last for apply this tabular form that will be 1 second 2 second 3 second 4 second 5 second 6 second 7 second for 1 second 22 0 second 22 and 22 22 22 22 22 here 100 100 okay now it's okay for the solution uh here here you have to go for the solution thermal temperature the solution insert thermal total heat heat flux okay now here you have to done one thing now one more thing you have to done go to the transient thermal insert convection where would the convection will be done see uh, click control from keyboard and select these faces select all the faces where the convection will be done okay select this these and this portion also mm. now this face click apply now for their click tabular data import temperature dependent click stagnant air ok now the convection has been done now there are have the solutions temperature and heat flux now ultimate this is ok now go for the solver window and click here for the solve please wait for the solve
it needs some time for the solvation please wait to see the solvation some minutes left or some seconds and that is going to be done here think this is going to done here hmm this is why the solve session has been done here the if we make it b see here the temperature distribution here the tabular data the temperature ration and if we go for the animation you can see that how the temperature will be increased here is the 100 degree how the temperature became increased here okay if we stop it then go for the heat flux and go for the animation you can see that this is the distribution of the heat flux this is how we can make uh, the analysis or exhaust manifold analysis uh, through ANSYS software please subscribe my channel for more updates or more creating videos, please like this and share with your friends. Thank you.